Everyone loves to save money on video games. Too true. Hi, I'm Marky. And this is Freddy. Welcome to part two of our video on PlayStation deals. So let's get started. PlayStation Store is flooded with deals. I don't know from where to start, but here's some games on sale. Uh, one of the games I want to talk about is Tomb Raider Trilogy for $19.99, almost $20 for three great games. Um, if you like games like Uncharted that are full of adventure, uh, solving puzzles, and good story overall, great visuals, and the combat is very uh, smooth. One of the best Tomb Raider, definitely better than any games of, of Lara that you played before. Definitely $20 is a no-brainer if you haven't started playing this game. However, many of these games were given for us for free if you were a member on PS Plus. So check your library before you jump on this game and pay $20. PlayStation Store also has Alan Wake Remastered for $16.99. This is pretty good. We've seen it drop down to $19.99 before, both physically and digitally. So this is one of the lowest as well. And like we, uh, like we mentioned before too, Alan Wake is getting a sequel in Alan Wake 2, I think starring Jake Gyllenhaal or something like that. It's a very obviously vague trailer, so I don't know why we're gonna be seeing it. But it pays homage to the fact that this is a cult classic that I think is worth investing in. Mostly just because it's something a little bit different from a traditional thriller. Um, using a flashlight to, you know, shed light on enemies also has kind of like a fun gimmick to it. But the story is very well put together and something that kind of keeps you on your toes and keeps you invested in that way. So in getting it at 50 bucks was a little steep for a lot of people, especially for a remaster. So seeing it at 16.99 is even better. And just getting it digitally just to kind of get you prepared and you might have a new favorite series on your hands. Another great game on sale is Days Gone for $15.99. Days Gone is an open world action adventure game that is set in a harsh wilderness two years after a devastating global pandemic. No, we're not talking about COVID this time. We're talking about the virus that converted people into zombies. I'm not a fan of zombie games in general, but this is the only game along with The Last of Us that even with the presence of zombies, you will still sit down and play it because the game is a lot of fun. And this is maybe the only game that where you fight uh, or might actually also have fun uh, just with the horde fight. Uh, there is going to be, there will be in large quantities and you and also the only game that you will be having the chance to escape from them riding a motorcycle. There are brutal encounters, you will need to make full use of a lot of customizable traps. You will also need to choose your battles and when to escape and when to hide and when to fight. There are some repetitive moments in the game, but the game is definitely worth playing. The story reveals itself very slowly, but if you're patient enough, you really, really enjoy the mystery of this game. You will, you will lose yourself in a powerful tale of desperation, I would say betrayal and regret. I don't want to spoil the story, but just know that the story is really worth it. It's going to become a movie very soon. Uh, Sony start working uh, on it. And for PS5 owners, you can have this game for free, but PS4 owners, uh, you, you can get it now at sale price. PS5 owners, uh, you can play it for free as long as you are part of the PS Plus uh, subscriber. But if not, you can also, you're free to buy it at this price and own it forever. We've reached the point of the video. If you're enjoying what you've been seeing or you learned a little bit on how to save some money, feel free to hit the like button, comment down, in, uh, down below, and of course, subscribe. We're always looking to build our community and we're even expanding our sales into Instagram and YouTube shorts as well. So that when those quick flash sales come, you're in the know and can jump on them whenever you're ready. Also, whenever we reach 300 subscribers, we'll be giving a lucky subscriber a $10 PlayStation Store. You can use it on anything that you like. Uh, and in order to participate, I will have a link in the description below. You can use it to increase your chances of winning. For the PlayStation Store, there's the Mega Man Zero and ZX Legacy Collection for $14.99. It is a mouthful, but there is a lot in here. These Legacy Collections for Mega Man have been fantastic so far. This one containing four of the Mega Man Zero games in the Game Boy Advance, and two of the ZX titles on DS, which I don't think anybody even heard of. But they are great in their own. Uh, Mega Man Zeros are your traditional like level by level kind of style with a lot of minor RPG mechanics. So it's got an inter and with of course an interesting story set place in the far future from the Mega Man X games. It's got enough in there for longtime fans to enjoy, and of course just a traditional platformer. If you really enjoy pixel uh, art as well, it's very well put together. The ZX games of course, are a little bit more different, actually switching to the Metroidvania style, kind of exploring a bunch of uh, areas in your own uh, at your own pace. Um, and now you get to just kind of learn different powers and mix them mix and match them it'll make more sense once you start off the story for sure but uh, these games are all fantastic and taking them away from a handheld and kind of putting them on a console thing it may look a little stretched out but i think it's definitely a net positive in the long run six full pretty pretty big full games for 14.99 is a fantastic get regardless if you're looking for a racing game there are four games that are on sale but they're very different and here they are burnout paradise remastered for five dollar and ninety nine cents this game is definitely on the arcade side. 
uh, your goal is to break the rules and crash anywhere at any time. In fact, the more crashes that you do, the more fun you'll have in this game because even the slow motion and the graphics and the video and the repetition of the accident that you do and the crash that you make is definitely make the game very fun. Uh, this game got a lot of critique because it's still based on PA3 and Xbox 360 um, graphics, but I think at this price, it's still one of the phenomenal games at this that generation. Another game on sale is slightly... Uh, a little bit more serious is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit for $7.99. This is also a classic for Need for Speed. You can uh, play as a police chasing uh, the runners and you can, or you can be the one who's escaping the police. It's still the classic Need for Speed. It's what you expect from the game. It doesn't have a lot of customization. It has good collection of cars, uh, but it's currently on sale. However, if you want a game that is between arcade or more on the simulator side, then get Great Legends for $26.99. It has a lot of cars. And the game is run very smoothly on the PS5 with great graphics. And uh, again, it allows you to balance between the arcade simple and it's hard to master because it has a lot of simulator. Uh, what you expect from real life, like the traction uh, at the curves and how you can put the brakes and all of that. However, if you want a very, very serious uh, game, then get WRC FIA World Rally Championship for $19.99. This is like almost the 50th anniversary of this game. Uh, it comes with a lot of bonuses like the new rallies like Estonia, Croatia, Belgium, and Spain. It has six historic rallies, including the one in San Romeo, Germany, and Argentina, 120 special stages, and a lot of stuff that, from, that were famous from other games a lot of cars you call it but this is a running game this is very professional in fact i would recommend it if you have a wheel it's better than playing on a controller but it's great sale on playstation that they put all these games depends on what the player is looking for and i wanted to put it all for you thank you guys for watching of course throw a comment down below are you interested in any of the games we mentioned have you played any of them are there any more in this playstation store that you're more interested in we're always interested to see the conversation also, if you haven't subscribed, please do already. It will really help us a lot to make more future videos. Also, if you got Nintendo Switch or Xbox, we got you covered. Make sure you check our playlist. Brenny and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video.